Hi guys, welcome to another video. Don't forget to drop us a comment. Go and do the merch. Link in the description. Subscribe, like, share. Very robotic. To all those ferrets. Ding ding. Is it my ding a ling? Okay, Chuck. Chuck, Chuck the Bell. Chuck the Berry. Gene the Bell. Mm. Awesome guy. And as always, free the fear. Taxidermy the ferret. Oh, who? For this technique, what we're looking at is bringing the cane up the attacker comes in, we step back, they then get the automatic of pulling you to get you closer, you come in with a strike, you strike through while pulling back, and then into whatever attack you want. Sound good? Sounds good to me. What's it called? The two clean two step. Doing the Lambert book. Hey! Chris is my attacker. I'm in a normal, just a normal standing stance. The cane's coming up, ready. Chris has seen this target, he's coming to grab. All I'm doing, pushing with the left cane, stepping back with the right leg. His natural reaction is to pull me. As he pulls me, he pulls onto the cane, which strikes, drags down. The cane is by my hip, so if I just change canes, it's in this position here and the whole body is just moving forward. Chris has folded over. I'm then gonna retreat back into my three by six because I don't know what he wants and I don't wanna destroy him because I'll end up in front of the old beak. I do it from the left hand side. The K's come up because I'm a little bit worried. Chris is coming in and he's grabbing. Foot's going back. Pulled him off balance. He wants to right himself. Kane's coming through. I've hit a collarbone here. Side of the neck. The teeth are dragged down. I Hopefully, I might get a tip drag as I go through. I'm going to make sure that the cane is anchored to my body because I'm walking forward. Putting the pressure on my right cane for my balance and using him as a secondary balance by pushing through him. Once I've got him into a position where He's going to start to think twice. I'm back into exactly the same position. If he does the same attack, I'm not going to do the same defense. I'm going to do something different. With me, this is a lot easier. I have my aggressor and I've stepped. I don't need to push, my weight's fine. I've stepped back, come up into position. Now I'm going to be wary of, is he going to try and keep me in the groin? <laughs> no, nope. well, so, so I'll emulate really, with a leg. No, that's a cane. I hate to tell you that. That's your. I'll emulate the leg. Oh, emulate. Sorry. Emulate. It's an emulation. Yeah. Simulation. So if I'm here and that leg's coming up, it's going to be difficult for me to see. But I actually turned offline for that, so I was here. Now this is slightly out of his reach, and my guard will be up here. So I might take another step forward. Might take a step forward. If he takes a step forward, he's being aggressive. I can do the drag, drop, down, poke. I quite like to drag down, and as I'm going down, I like to hit anywhere along here and here. I nearly struck you then. I literally just touched you and you're crying. The mere thought. The mere thought. But the advantage for me is if I do get to this position where I step back, I was doing silly things like grabbing my wrist. Yeah, it's, I've had it done to me. Yeah, so I, if you grab my cane, it's so much easier for me. Now, I can kick him in the groin. Yes. <laughs> Good distraction technique. If I just, I'm not going to do anything other than step back and bring the cane down. What I would do is add on to this. This is my anchor point, it's on here. This is my free hand, which could be doing stuff. But as I'm stepping down, this is coming in a circle as well. Now, I would hook under there and flick him off, mm -hmm. but he's very unbalanced at the moment. But pulling him back, 
Hungar. It's karate. It's anything you want it to be. I like the C. Yeah. For those who didn't notice, it was a C grip, straight to the Adam's apple. Scissor hand strike here at his Sammy. As I'm pulling back, this I've got balance now, and I can quite comfortably strike. And don't forget, you've got your spare hand. He's grabbed that to stop me using the cane. I have two hands on this. Even if Chris gets back to that position, now I'm using Chris's hand as balance so I can put the canes here to emulate the hand coming through. Really? Which I'm just basically smashed my knuckles, um, my wrist bones onto the, the crook. I'm now tied up. I would do a nice circle here. Mm-hmm. And so I'm, to lose balance. I'm, I'm <laughs> stopping. You, you know Kev's balance not good. Have you been drinking again? I don't drink. I keep telling you this. I'm not allowed to. The drug medication. I know. If he does get in my space and I want to do, even if he does grab me, when I step back, rather than just flicking this up, I can use him to push myself back, bring it up, over. If he's still got hold, <laughs> I can do all of this. Even just from here, my bayonet strikes. Uh, that is trademark, that one. You can't use that. And not forgetting, we haven't done this for a while, driving that in, oh. up, down, so, turning. Yeah, now, I was going to do it in here, or maybe the super stone. I'm not sure. Oh. I'm just looking for points and time. What I want is the distance for my cane to work effectively, because his arm, though he has got long arms, aren't as long as my cane, and that's the important factor to realise with this. Aggressing, stepping back, coming up to guard, negate him. I can, for me, I can really drop my weight into it. So take a breath, stop typing. I'm gonna hold Chris's hand. Oh, so I've got balance. Can I have him, mate? Oh, there you go. Yes, I can punch. Go but ahead. But as you can see, we're not putting the punch in because of my mobility. Once we get our hooky back, then you'll see the, but, the second punches and stuff. But if you think back to the flow drill that we just did, mm. you can practice this if this is for you. As we always say, this may not work for you. I quite like it because I'm getting away, getting in, I'm controlling the situation at this point. And the idea of the two step is we're coming back, back, we're going forward, and then we're coming back again. So it's that motion is that if Chris and I are wrestling, I come back, he pulls, I'm pushing. Here's a good thing, I've just suddenly realised. Go for it. So, you're doing that, and you grab that, and I'm yeah. putting that in. Oh, does this look familiar? Wow! Okay, I'm going to mention two words. Go back, go back. Yep. I'm not going to do it. Windscreen wiper. Windscreen wiper? Yeah. Oh, I was just going to do that. No, windscreen wiper. You've gone bad. There we go. All sorts. And as you know, I like to hook the groin and pull up. It's just that kind of you, groin guy, aren't you? You may see techniques of opportunity. From these techniques, you can see other techniques we've done. If he's done the punch, well, he's missed for starters. <laughs> <laughs> I got the squeezy techniques. I got the huggy technique. That was radius and armor at the same time. I know. You're talented. I was lucky. Luck is a factor in a lot of these as yeah. well. But don't forget, he comes back, puts the hand on, gets back in this position. I only have to strike him once on the arm, and I'm hoping that's the fight over yeah. with. You don't have to do anything flash, but if you see a nice technique... Use it. Use it. I like to do lower extremity attacks myself. Sorry, defensive techniques. They're not attacks. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got through to this part of the video, you're an absolute star. Do not forget... Comment, 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 it helps us out. If you haven't got your merchandise yet, there is a link, Teesprings, in the description. As always, subscribe, like, share, ring the bell. Sweet cane move there, did you see that? I did actually, yeah. There you go, put right now. You do a reaction drill. You've got to catch the cane before it hits the floor. Go on. Ready? Yeah, ready, 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 ready. I'll help you out there. I know it's too heavy for you. Uh, don't forget, free to fair. 
and um, free the ferret. See, if I inserted this into a ferret, I can have a ferret flag. You only ever walk alone. Don't forget, cage that tiger in until it's time to unleash the beast. Unless that beast is a ferret, because they're no use in a fight. They run off. Hey, Kev. Hey, Captain Ferret there. Well, you hobble off at a slow rate of knots. Like two. You want me to get knotted, don't you? Thank <laughs> you.